I cannot wait to watch the LA Rams play football this year. They made a massive trade this offseason. They got rid of their former starting quarterback, Jared Goff. Uh, They're replacing him with Matthew Stafford. It's a move I love. Uh, and I believe that adding Matthew Stafford makes the Rams a Super Bowl contender. This is the best team he has ever played on. This is the best coach, Sean McVay, he has ever played for. And I believe the Rams are going to go 12-5 and five and win the NFC West. Oh, look, I got no problem if you disagree. We can talk about that in a moment. Uh, now, I, I do want to talk about the Rams' defense. Uh, last year, they had the best defense in the entire NFL. And, and since then, they lost three starting defenders. They lost safety John Johnson. When he went to Cleveland. Uh, corner Troy Hill also left L.A. and followed John Johnson, went to the Cleveland Browns as well. Defensive end Michael Brockers went to Detroit. And these are tough losses. I can't deny that. I'm not going to pretend they didn't happen. I'm not going to brush it under the rug. Like losing a, a couple players in your secondary, losing a defensive end, that's a big deal. And so I'm not going to be shocked if the Rams are not the very best defense in the entire NFL. In fact, I don't expect them to be. But also, they don't need to be. Last year, the Rams' defense had to be good in order to keep them in games. They didn't trust their quarterback and didn't believe they could score points. I'm drinking the Matthew Stafford Kool-Aid this year. Like, I am all in on Matthew Stafford. And I frankly believe that his impact is going to make up for the people they lost on defense. Like, his ability to score points, they trust him at the end of a game, they can win with game-winning drives if they need to. Uh, I understand they lost starters on defense, but not having to rely as heavily on their defense actually is a good thing. And it will make up for the fact that they lost a couple starters on that side of the ball. Now, the Rams did lose uh, tight end Gerald Everett to Seattle. I think they'll be okay, though. They still have Tyler Higby. He's not going to be splitting reps anymore. He'll need to step up a little bit. But I have really supreme confidence in Tyler Higby's ability uh, to be a great tight end. At receiver, the Rams have Robert Woods and Cooper Cup. They also brought in veteran receiver Deshaun Jackson. He's 34 years old. And, and look, he might be washed up. Uh, but he also, I, I have really low expectations of him, so I want to leave the door open for Deshaun Jackson to have a big impact. He's a big play guy, and maybe it's just a play, like, maybe there's like three games this year where Deshaun Jackson has a really big, long touchdown, and that's all he does, but sometimes it's all you need, so keep your eye on Deshaun Jackson. He might have an impact in a game or two this year. I am worried about left tackle Andrew Whitworth. He's 39, almost 40, turns 40 in December and he could be a weakness. I worry about him getting hurt. Uh, now, another thing that I, I worry about, I don't, well, let me be clear. I don't worry about it. It's bad news, but I'm also, I'm starting to turn the corner and be confident and actually kind of excited. Rams running back Cam Akers tore his Achilles. That's the bad news. That's terrible. That's awful. But then they traded for former Patriots running back, Sony Michelle. Sony Michelle got traded from the Patriots. He was a first round pick in 2018. He's a guy who, in my opinion, has never really fully reached his potential as a running back. And uh, I believe that both him, Sonny Michelle, and Daryl Henderson Jr. are two running backs who are going to be elevated by Sean McVay's really, really creative running schemes this year in L.A. Like, Sean McVay's ability to create holes and do stuff on the offensive line, it's unbelievable. And I'm really, really confident in Sonny Michelle's ability. And we've seen over and over again, like, the same way Cam Akers did, he got to the NFL, looked great. Like, Sean McVay's offense elevates the running backs that play in his offense. So I'm excited to watch Sony Michel this year, along with Daryl Henderson Jr. Really, in, in my opinion, this year comes down to how much do you believe in Matthew Stafford, the Rams' new starting quarterback? This team is very capable of winning a lot of games. I haven't even mentioned yet. You know, they have Aaron Donald, the best defensive tackle in the entire NFL. He might even win the defensive player of the year. They have corner Jalen Ramsey. He's a shutdown corner. He can literally shut down people like, you know, DK Metcalf, the receiver in Seattle. He can and he will shut him down. So the Rams last year are a team that was really good. They made the playoffs with Jared Goff at quarterback. In fact, once upon a time, they even went to a Super Bowl with Jared Goff. I believe Matthew Stafford is a major upgrade on Jared Goff. He makes up with the couple players they lost. They'll be okay. They have a much better quarterback now. I just, man, I, I think I can't say this enough. I watched the film of Matthew Stafford. I regret not putting out a film analysis about him. I mean, it was a crazy offseason. I'm still trying to catch up and finish all my predictions before the year starts. But that's the film analysis I wish I'd finished because I did all the research. And I just think that Matthew Stafford, so clearly when you watch film, was buried by the media. He was in Detroit, a bad market on a bad football team. So nobody paid attention to like how many incredible, really good throws this dude made. And uh, he's really going to open people's eyes this year in L.A. Matthew Stafford's going to be awesome. It's not very complicated to me. Like, 
I think Matthew Stafford makes the Rams a Super Bowl contender, and you either agree with that or you don't.